There are over 23,000 different stocks that can be traded on TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform. So how can you narrow your search to find the best stocks to trade every single day? In this video, we're going to cover a super simple way for you to find the best stocks to trade before they run with an easy to use scanner setup. All that and more coming up. What's up, everybody? My name is Brad, and this is Own the Chaos. The stock market is crazy, it's chaotic, and I want to help you own it in order to achieve that financial freedom you're searching for. Recently, I put out a poll in my community tab to ask what types of videos that you would like to see more of. Most of you just want to see more stock picking videos, which I'm all about and will continue creating. But coming in second place was the topic surrounding around technical analysis and learning to find your own stocks to pick. And so that's what we're going to focus on today. And be sure to watch through the end of the video as I will be showing you how you can modify this scanner to find the exact stocks you're looking for. Whether it's penny stocks, blue chips, this scanner is so easy that it works for literally everything. More specifically, we're going to look at a pre-market scanner that helps you find stocks that move on unusual volume, and I'll explain to you why that's so important in just a sec, but let's go ahead and get started by sharing my screen with you right now. All right, guys, so hopefully you got your Thinkorswim platform downloaded and you're ready to go. And so, you know, if you are at another tab when you open your platform up, no biggie, like if I'm here at the charts tab, just move yourself over to scan. And this is where we're going to get started. Now, the importance of this scanner here is to help you find stocks based on unusual volume and more specifically in the pre-market. And this is going to allow you to really kind of develop a watch list so that you're ready for when the market actually opens. Or maybe you want to take action in the pre-market you want to make a trade then that's perfectly fine too but the purpose of this scanner is to be able to search for stocks based off of unusual volume now volume is so important because you know the you're not going to be able to filter through this based off of price change because the market isn't even open yet so this is going to give you a really good advantage by watching stocks that have unusual dollars pouring into a stock which could allow you to I look at that stock and identify it and try to figure out why it's moving the way it is so you can do your further due diligence, right? This isn't something where you just, oh, I'm seeing it on a scanner, I'm going to buy it. No, you're going to look at it, see it on a scanner, ask yourself, why is this all of a sudden getting bought up when it wasn't before? And then, you know, dig into a little bit deeper. So this is kind of like that first step in the process. So in order to find stocks that are based off of unusual volume, we're going to add a filter. So as you can see here, just full disclosure, the stock market isn't open. So this number is actually a little bit off. It is actually over 23,000 stocks that you can trade here in your search or at least find in search. And so right now it says 14, 3,009. That's definitely off, but we'll still narrow it down nevertheless. So we go and click on add filter here. And the first thing that's going to happen when this drop menu, drop down menu comes, uh, shows up, you, you want to click on stock. That's going to be the first thing you're going to look for. And we're going to go to the first drop down menu and find last. So you see last here. And what this is going to do is basically give you a price range. So if you're interested in trading penny stocks, for example, you can do a price range that is between 0.01. Uh, we'll do 0.01 and 0.05. So we'll go here. 0.05 is going to be the next area. You'll hit enter and see we just already narrowed our search down from 14,309 to 6,065. So we've already cut this in half. So this is the power of a scanner to be able to narrow down the search. But we're not done yet. So let's go ahead and click on add filter again. We're going to click on the next stock filter here. And again, this is that default ask size, but we're not going to use that. We're going to look for volume on the drop down menu. So we'll scroll down here a little bit and then we'll find volume. And then what this is going to do is that this is going to allow you to, you know, uh, have that criteria. So if you don't want to see stocks that have only been bought up with a couple of shares, you obviously want to narrow that down. And since we're looking at penny stocks right now, you want to probably put up a higher uh, share price because it's really not it's really not going to move the needle if somebody buys a million shares at 0.01. That's about um, ten thousand dollars worth uh, at at 0.01 will get you a million shares. So it's really not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Now I know that sounds like a lot of money, and it is. Don't get me wrong. But if you're some somebody who's got a lot of money that throw around, a million shares is not a, that big of a deal at 0.01. That being said, let's go ahead and try to narrow this search down a little bit. So I'm going to do five million shares. We'll do 5 million shares and really you don't want 
don't need a max. So we're, we, we want to see anything that's higher being traded higher than 5 million shares uh, throughout the day or throughout the pre-market. And so then we'll push enter again. And that narrows the search down by another, you know, 1,000 or so, or 500, I should say. Uh, 5532 is what it's narrowed it down to. And then we'll do one more filter here. So this one's actually gonna be a little bit different. The last two we've hit stock. So this time we're gonna go to the study filter. And this is the default study filter here. And so we're gonna go to this first drop down menu, and then we're gonna go to price performance, which then gives you another uh, drop down menu and then we're going to find whoops and then we're going to find price change now i know i just said that we're looking for some volume but bear with me here this is still very volume based and uh, and we're going to get to that right here on this very next one so we're going to come down here to volume as as stated before is going to be at least now i like five percent I like 5%. I think it's going to be a real, I think it's just a really good solid number. It's going to be greater than 10 bars ago. I'd like 15. Let's change that to 15. Hit enter. And so for this filter, this is kind of your X factor filter. The other two filters were like, let's narrow down our search based off of a certain set criteria, meaning volume and price just the actual price whereas this is like okay we're specifically telling the scanner that we don't want to see a stock that hasn't been within at least five percent of its uh volume within the last 15 days and so and real quick i just want to reiterate so how i came to the termination of days is that 15 is 15 bars is essentially think of them as candles so 15 candles ago and we're looking at the daily chart this is the, this is what d means you can always adjust this if you want to but my favorite is just the daily uh, I would I want to know if this is great trading greater than 5% over the last 15 days. So um, this is a really great and useful tool. So again, we're at 14,309 and all we have to do after this point is just hit scan and it's narrowed it down to 11 guys. So we've narrowed it down to 11 stocks that had unusual volume that's priced between 0 0.01 and 0 0.05 cents per share and the volume is over 5 million shares. And, uh, you know, and this is based off of un unusual volume with this specific study. So looking at here, you can see that there's actually some pretty decent runners. Look, this one was up 83% yesterday. Now, again, the stock market's closed. I'm just recording it today. So um, uh, you can see there's some pretty decent stuff moving. And so what I would do is that I would look at something like CLWD, right? Now, obviously, it says 179 million shares traded. So this probably would have popped up in the pre-market or this probably would have popped up as soon as the market opened because I think this is an over-the-counter penny stock which doesn't get traded in the pre-market. But nevertheless, you're going to find this even after the market opens and try to narrow your search. Why is this one moving? Why all of a sudden is this getting some volume? And so then that's when you can start doing your some, some research. Is there some news on this? Is there something going on that maybe not a lot of other people are seeing? This is going to give you the absolute edge when it comes to narrowing down your search on stocks that are or will be getting ready to run now obviously it does it on the other side as well you can see that there's some red stocks here but it just le lets you identify what's moving unusually like why all of a sudden is this getting attention and as promised from the beginning of the video i'm going to go over now like what kind of criteria you could change to help you trade with different areas of the market based off of price maybe you want to trade some larger cap stocks some blue chip type stocks or you want to trade something in the middle you know whatever your criteria is is what all you have to do to change this so again the stock we're, we could just change this price to let's just make it put it up to a dollar so i don't want to trade anything less than ten dollars per share okay no problem and then you can just go up to 50 bucks a share so that's going to be your new criteria you can change this uh share volume uh, five million is is probably a little bit much for something that's trading at ten dollars per share so let's go down to uh, 250,000. so 250,000 shares i don't want to see anything that's been traded less than 250,000 shares and we can keep them the max there but the study remains the same this is the only constant so you can change your criteria up here and, and see what you come up with so let's hit scan and we see a much broader uh, search here. So this is a little bit more. We've expanded this, though, because from $10 to $50, that's a lot of stocks. And you can always narrow that down. But you can see that Workhorse came in at numero uno here. Uh, this was one that I traded with my folks in my mentorship. By the way, links are in the description. And uh, if you want to check that out, by all means, 
you could see Pinterest was actually trading. These are all some really good quality stocks. Graph, this is this is some really good stuff you could find on unusual volume before the market opened and make a determination as to whether or not you wanted to trade that today. I mean, look at this. 120 million shares traded on Workhorse. That was That's absolutely incredible. Uh, and so this really kind of, like I said, narrows your search. And this would have been even narrower in the pre-market. This is after hours. So this is throughout the entire day. Uh, as far as volume is concerned. And this still narrows that search down. So this is a really good tool, guys. Uh, we can do one more here. So if we went to $100 a share and then we uh, came up to, uh, let's narrow it down to $200 a share. Okay. And so 273 matches and let's keep it at 250000 so then this narrows it down. DocuSign, another good quality stock. If this one was moving pre-market, I'd want to know why. CrowdStrike as well. These are all stocks that I've talked to you guys about previously on my channel, and this is how I find them. If they're moving in the market like this, there's got to be a reason why. Maybe there's some sort of catalyst or what have you. Uh, but uh, you know, this is how I create my watch list every morning that I show to my chaos crew. Now, let's just say that you don't have the time to set all this up. You don't have time to get up in the morning and check the pre-market and set all your scanning criteria up and that sort of thing. I get it. I understand. If you want me to do it for you, all you have to do is click the join button and I can give you a watch list every single day uh, and you can be a part of the chaos crew for $4.99 a month. I think it's a pretty good deal. And if you do too and want to support this channel, I would love to see you there. And thanks for watching. If you happen to miss this latest video about the top 10 stocks that are being traded on Robinhood, click here. Trust me, you're going to get a laugh out of it. Or if you want my thoughts on the stock market and which investments are recession proof, click this one here. And as always, folks, I will see you all before the bell. And B. Smith is out.